Hey what's going on everyone, it's Cynical, and today I thought I would come at you guys with a complete guide on the Kingdom Hearts 2.5. I've been wanting to do this for a while now and because of the fact that 2.5 is coming out sometime later on this year, um, I thought that I would inform you guys with all the information that you need to know. So the, today's video I'm going to be informing you guys about the Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix features, the Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix features, and extra 2.5 information that you guys uh, should probably no. Now because of the fact that a lot of us haven't actually played the Final Mix um, versions of both Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep, I thought it'd be a cool idea to basically inform you guys about all the extra things that you guys are going to be coming across, uh, just basically what to expect, and what different things you can pick out comparing the Final Mix version to the normal version of the game. And also at the very end of the game, I'll be informing you guys just with extra 2.5 information that you guys may not know. So yeah, basically sit back, relax, today's video is going to be a longish sort of one, and like this video if you guys enjoyed, and let's get on with it. For the first section of this guide, I'm going to be going over all the new features introduced in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. There is a new difficulty mode called Critical Mode. A new dry form called Limit Form is unlocked in the game. Basically, this form uses the abilities from Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, but also bears the resemblance of Sora's outfit from the original game. Also, in this form, you can trigger the different abilities used in Kingdom Hearts 1, as well as Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, for example, Sonic Blade and Aris Arcanum. There is a new minigame called Puzzle, which unlocks special items such as synthesis items, as well as weapons. Basically, in each world, there will be these sort of crowns floating around. You collect these and it unlocks a puzzle piece, and then via the journal, you can put together these puzzle pieces to receive special items. Many Heartlesses in the game have received different textures and received palette swaps. There are quite a few new cutscenes added into the game. I'm not going to go over them, but they're basically to do more so with Roxas and Riku. A new area added to Radiant Garden is called the Cavern of Remembrance. This becomes the new hardest area in the game and basically you're going to have to have a character with a substantial high level as well as different um, growth abilities from your forms such as Glide, Quick Step, etc. Also inside of the Cavern of Remembrance there's a ton of harder heartlesses, harder than their normal selves. Basically, they drop new things like Remembrance Shards. These are new um, Final Mix only synthesis items, which you can then use to synthesize new Final Mix weapons for Donald and Goofy, as well as Sora. As well as that, um, at the ends of the Cavern of Remembrance, there's the Garden of Assemblance, and in this area, you can actually fight all the um, Organization 13 members. These are basically data versions of each member and they are quite substantially harder than the ones you actually verse in Kingdom Hearts 2. But it's pretty cool as you get to verse every single Organization 13 member in the game. A new secret boss called the Lingering Will can be unlocked at Disney Castle. This becomes the hardest secret boss in the game overtaking Sephiroth. And the Lingering Will, if you guys didn't know, is Terra. A new minigame called Mushroom XIII is added into the game. Basically, this adds uh, Organization 13 mushrooms, 13 of them, of course, and basically it spreads them out into each individual Disney world as well as a few of the Kingdom Hearts ones. And basically, if you find these mushrooms, you'll have to complete a minigame for the mushroom. Each minigame is different for each different mushroom that you encounter. Some will be dodging Heartlesses for a certain time period, whereas some will be sort of attacking Heartlesses in a certain time period and even some come up to the fact of actually spinning the mushroom um, and basically how many times you can spin that mushroom um, in a certain time period. Um, each minigame is different, some are harder than others and basically if you complete the minigame the mushroom will reward you with synthesis items as well as final mix weapons. A crown can be achieved in the game to be worn on top of Sora's head. These crowns are basically bronze, silver or gold. To get the bronze crown, you need to complete one of the 13 mushroom minigames, complete all of them. Either complete all of the data battles, basically by defeating all of the Organization 13 members within the Cavern of Remembrance, or defeating the Lingering Will. To get the silver crown, you need to 
to complete two out of the three of these, or if you want gold, you have to complete all three of them, which is pretty challenging and adds some more in-game replay value. The battle between Saw and Roxas in the Station of Awakening is made playable. In the original game, this is just a cutscene that you encounter in the world that never was. In the Final Mix version, it is a playable boss fight. A new mode called Theater Mode can be accessed in the main menu. Basically, this mode is to rewatch cutscenes that you have watched throughout the game. In Halloween Town, when Sora enters Christmas Town, instead of Sora just wearing his usual Halloween outfit, he now wears a black Santa suit, which I have to say is super badass. The maximum level for the drive gauge has increased to 9. In the normal version of the game, the max drive gauge you could achieve is 8. Two new Final Mix exclusive Keyblades added to the game. The first one is Warner's Proof by completing all of the Mushroom XIII challenges. And the other one is To Become One. This Keyblade is achieved after you finish the boss fight between Sora and Roxas in the world that never was. A ton of new Final Mix staffs are added into the game for Donald. There's a Pleasure Mushroom, Pleasure Mushroom Plus, Precious Mushroom, Precious Mushroom Plus, Premium Mushroom, uh, Centurion, Centurion Plus, and Spells Relic Plus. Goofy also gets a whole new edition of shields in the Final Mix version of the game. These are Happy Mushroom, Happy Mushroom Plus, Palatile Mushroom, Palatile Mushroom Plus, Limited Mushroom, uh, Frozen Pride, Frozen Pride Plus, and Akashic Record Plus. There are also quite a few new accessories added into the game. These are Shock Charm, Full Bloom, Shade Archive. I'm not going to go through all of them, but um, those are just a few. And finally, there are also quite a few new abilities added into the game as well. And that is all of the Final Mix features for Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. For the second part of the guide, I'm going to be going through all of the new features for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. Critical Mode is once again added into the game. This becomes the hardest difficulty for Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. All of the Unversed have been given new color schemes and palette swaps. For example, the Flood is now purple instead of blue, which was the color of it in the original version of the game. There have been several new rewards added to the Sticker Album mini game. A new command style called Rhythm Mixer has been added to the game. It is a musical themed command style and requires the player to press button prompts for the finisher. The Unison Rush Voltage Stack Illusion Commands have been added. The Illusion Commands are obtained by completing battle missions which are found throughout the worlds as floating orbs emblazonized with the Unversed Emblem, similar to that of the Venetus Remnant. Each battle mission has its own rules and win requirements. Many of the characters in certain cutscenes have much higher quality facial animations. A new command board called the Skull Board has been added to the game. Pete has been added as a new dimension link. The Castle Circuit Track has been added to the Rumble Racing multiplayer minigame. The Destiny Islands theme song has been added to the Ice Cream Beat minigame. A new secret boss has been added into the game and that is Young Xehanort. He also gives you the No Name Keyblade once you defeat him. Armor of the Master, Monstro, and No Heart appear as bosses of the three new Mirage Arena battles, Mentor of Light, Monster of the Deep, and Foresight Unto Darkness. A new secret scene named A Fragmentary Passage has been introduced in contrast to the secret movies seen in the previous games. In the secret episode, the player controls Aqua through the Realm of Darkness rather than watching the Blank Point's secret movie from the normal version of the game. And that is it guys, that is all of the Final Mix features for Birth by Sleep. And for the final part of the guide, I'm going to be going over just extra bits of information for 2.5. Kingdom Hearts Recoded is going to be fully transformed into full HD cinematics. This is going to be a different way of basically viewing Recoded as it was a game on the Nintendo DS. 
Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix has a set 2014 release date as Square Enix is actually promising a Kingdom Hearts game every year. So this year's Kingdom Hearts game is Kingdom Hearts 2.5. When the game's actually coming out, no one really knows, but it definitely is going to be this year as that's what it states in both of the trailers. Hopefully we're going to be hearing some official information on the release date at E3 next month. New and never seen before cutscenes are going to be added to Kingdom Hearts Recoded. And that is it guys, that is a complete guide to Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix. Hopefully you guys now know all the Final Mix features. Um, me personally I haven't played through both by Sleep Final Mix, which I'm really looking forward to. But I have played through uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. But however, um, tell me what you guys are looking forward to about 2.5, whether it's, you know, reliving the uh, classics or basically playing the new Final Mix version of the game. Whatever it is, please give this a like as I put a lot of work, time and effort into making this just for you guys. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, be sure to do so. And also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Peace.